lovely YouTubers, welcome back to my YouTube channel with me, your girl, Morgan Tracy J. And today I'm coming with a video that has been actually highly requested on my Instagram. Somebody, many people actually have asked me, Morgan, how do you plan and organize your days? And so today I'm actually going to be giving you those tips, but also I'm going to be giving you a free HDC planner. This is actually something that I use every single day inside of my office. And so I know it's going to bless you. It's going to help you prioritize and get some things planned for your life. Okay. So if you're ready for this video, boo, all I want you to do is sit back, relax, because I'm about to show you how I plan and organize my day. Okay, boo. So the first thing I do when I'm ready to organize or plan my day is I write out all of my tasks. I know this might sound daunting to you. You're like, I don't want to put everything I have to do on paper, but actually this is the first step to really organizing your day. So the first thing I like to do is write out every single task that I have to get done either that day or that week. Okay. So do that first. Okay, so the second thing you want to do is you want to actually now go and prioritize these things, okay? So sometimes you might have a list of 10, 20, 30, I don't know, some days my lists are very long. So you want to go and you want to prioritize these things. You can prioritize them by your timing or you can prioritize them just by marking them and saying like, this is my top three, okay? So I want to show you really quick on how you can prioritize by doing your top three or your top five. <laughs> So tip number three is all about going and scheduling these things, okay? So it's no fun if you just have all these tasks. Now it's time for you to go and schedule these, especially if you have things that are time restraints. Like when I have a morning meeting, I know specifically that is at 9 or 10 or 11 a.m. So what you want to do is you want to start writing out the time windows that you can do your tasks. For me, I love to use Google Calendars. Google Calendars is great for me to go in and schedule my stuff, and it also sends me a reminder. But if you don't technically want to get into tech, technology and use Google calendars just yet, I would encourage you to go look at your schedule. And if you have a window of time from 11 to 1130, go ahead and schedule one of your tasks at that time. This is where you prioritize, not saying you're not going to get to your other task, but you're going to make sure that first things are first. Okay. And so I will say this right here is what helps move the vision forward in my ministry, helps me move the vision forward in my life is because I always prioritize what is necessary. And also I use those windows of time. Okay. So for example, this one is about social content. So me, I would probably schedule that if I notice I have a window of time at 11 a.m. I would schedule that for 11 and I would make sure I go through my social content. Let's say I need to package some orders. If it's me or my intern packaging orders, we're going to find a block of time when we can schedule that to package those orders. So for example, if I'm working on something, she's able to package orders. If she's working on something, I'm able to package orders. So it just kind of depends on your schedule and how you can fit these things in. But since they're your top three, the key is, is the day cannot go by without you getting these things done. Okay. Some people have a top five and it really depends on your tasks. Most day I can do a top five unless I'm editing. If I'm editing, that's a task that can take me anywhere from an hour to six hours. So some days it might be only a top three for that day. Okay. So the next thing, like I said, is you always want to make sure you're prioritizing and you're scheduling this, you're time blocking yourself in to get a task done. Okay. So the next tip guys is actually, I love to pray over my tasks. Okay. Because in the reality of it, you might have all these things you want to do in one particular day and then something happens and you can't do it. Okay. But when you pray over your task, all that's saying is like, God, I submit my plans to you. And although I'm going to try my best to get these accomplished, if I don't, that's okay. Because I know I have grace on myself. I know something else can pop up. Okay. So for example, a prayer over your task can be something real spiritual, or it can be something so simple. Literally, like when I write out my plans, I'm just like, okay, Lord, let's get into this. Be with me. You know, like there's literally a prayer that I do like that. Sometimes I'm like ready and ready to go. And then sometimes I really sit down and specifically pray over my day and this right here will help you especially in the middle of your day boo okay when you are overwhelmed and you notice you ain't hitting everything like you were supposed to be hitting prayer is what really can help you saw come back down lose the overwhelm and real be able to breathe again and be like 
God has got grace on me. If he's given me this vision, he's given me this life, then he trusts me with it. So I can keep going and I don't have to be overwhelmed about this particular thing, okay? So that was my next one is make sure you pray over your plans, boo. And last but not least, boo, what I want you to do is I want you to be willing to create add-ons. So always in my HTC planner when I'm writing, I always give myself a few add-ons which things are for personally me, okay? So if that might be like walk my dog, that might be go grab that coffee, make sure you always add something add on for just you, like those passion projects, okay? So if you have a passion project, like my magazine right now is technically a passion project for me. So I love adding that into my schedule because that just gives me a little oomph of the day, you know? And so I would encourage you to always make sure you add something specifically for you, okay? Especially to you busy moms out there, you busy women, including myself, when we're working, sometimes it's so hard to add one thing for ourselves, right? I can add things for others, my dog, but when it comes to me, I forget about that. And so that's a big challenge to you. And I show that in the HDC planner. I have an add-on section where you can add on specific tasks that are just add-ons that you want to get done, you wish you could get done, passion projects you're going to make time for. Add-ons are really great on how you can organize and structure your day. Well, that is how I actually plan and structure my day. I always start with morning to-dos. I always start with the tasks. I always start with prioritizing. I start with prayer. And last but not least, I just get the thing done, okay? And I'm always willing to sprinkle a little bit of something extra on there just for me, you know, to just have a really good day. And so I hope this inspires you to sit down, grab the HDC planner, boo, okay? And also just to write out your day. And I will say personally, my life truly didn't change until I began to give a vision and a plan to God. It's when I didn't have a plan that I was always in the, I'm stuck, God, what do I create? What do I do? Where am I headed? But when I actually gave my plans to God, he said, work it, daughter, and I'll give you something better for it. So I hope this blessed you today for you to start planning your days and for you to get inspired. And I'll see you in my next one. If this blessed you, I want you to comment down below your favorite tip. And I want you to make sure you subscribe to the YouTube family. I'll see you in my next one. Bye, boo. About done. Okay, I think we're about done.